Good morning, I'm Mike Sands with your sports report. Well, Mississippi State opening the SEC tournament Wednesday with a win over South Carolina. And now Thursday, a second round matchup with Tennessee. And a second game in less than 24 hours for the shorthanded Bulldogs. And they'd fall behind double digits in the first half. But here off a Tennessee turnover, Trevante Bloodman to Craig Sward for the lay-in. Bulldogs, however, down 16 at the half. Second half, though, another forced turnover by the State D. Sward ahead on the break for the two-hand jam. Volunteer lead down to a dozen. And State keeps applying the pressure, forcing another turnover. Sward once again coasting in for the finish. Bulldogs would get as close as nine. Sward finishes with a game-high 19 points. But final minutes, showtime for Tennessee's Jordan McRae. 360 finish on the breakaway. Vols win at 69-53, and the Bulldogs end the year with a record of 10-22. The one thing I'll remember is just how much these guys gave themselves to me. Um, like I stated before, they could have easily just pitched it in and, and uh, saw that they, had, they were down in numbers with six or seven scholarship guys and, and just not played hard for me at all. Uh, but I really think, think it speaks to the character of our kids that we have on our team, that they respected themselves enough, Mississippi State University enough, and, and then our coaching staff enough to continue to, to fight and compete um, through all the adversity. That's what I'll remember the most. Also Thursday, LSU taking on Georgia in another second round matchup. Watch as Johnny O'Brien spins out of the double team for the lay-in. Later, O'Brien and Andre Stringer defend the pick and roll. Stringer the steal, J-O-B runs the floor, gets the lay-in and the foul. And coming up late in the first half, O'Brien left wide open underneath. 12 points, 12 rebounds for him. Tigers lead by 20 at the half, forced to hang on. They beat Georgia 68-63, now face Florida today. You know, last time we played Florida, it was very early in the SEC play. You know, we were still trying to find out who we were as a team. And um, we've got a lot better since then. You know, I've, I've gotten a lot better since then. And um, I think it's going to be a great game tomorrow. Can't wait to play. And finally, women's hoops. Mississippi Valley survives an advanced 63-60 winners over Alabama A&M in the quarterfinals of the SWAC tournament. Devilettes now headed to a semifinal matchup today with former Valley head coach Nate Kilbert's Pine Bluff squad. Kilbert last week named the SWAC Women's Coach of the Year, and this is first season at Pine Bluff. And that's going to do it for your morning sports. Now back to you.